chasing the police every single day. From your Charlotte County News team, a man's accused of sending a dead kitten in the mail. Punta Gorda police say that Bredden Osborne sent it to a victim of a stalking case. Now, you may be familiar with that case. It involves former YouTube personality Ian McGuire. NBC2's Megan Miller uncovering how the two men may have connected to try and silence that victim. Well, the suspect, Breton Osborne, is accused of coming up to a kiosk like this and sending someone a dead kitten. Now, that's just one of many threatening items Punta police say he sent through the post office. They say he has been harassing a victim to prevent her from testifying against another man, who you may recognize, Ian McGuire. Today, I talked with someone who didn't want to share his identity, but says he witnessed the two men harassing the victim over the phone. On first take, they seem like they're good people but uh, after listening to the types of phone calls that they've been making that um, they're just not good people. That's how a witness describes the phone calls he heard Ian McGuire and Breton Osborne making. They ordered pizza for the uh, for the lady, tow trucks. And in May, Punta Gorda police say Osborne sent the woman a dead kitten. It's pretty gross and it's pretty demented that people even do something like that. That's that's just unconceivable. It was just one of many bizarre things Osborne is accused of sending the victim of a stalking case. She also received fecal matter, menstrual pills, and rotting fruit. But the package with a dead kitten has neighbors disgusted. I said, wow, this guy's out of his mind. Osborne was arrested June 27th. He's charged with eight counts of witness tampering, harassing a victim, and stalking. Police say he was mailing these packages in April and May to try and stop the victim from testifying against McGuire. Basically, it's because of some trouble he got into at the Punta Gorda Farmer's Market about uh, filming in public. A witness says the two met through McGuire's YouTube channel. That's where he met them, too. McGuire used to run two channels, so they call it freedom and hate the state. According to reports, on multiple occasions, he filmed people, police, and witnesses for those channels. With a cat being mailed, uh, I've heard a lot of crazy things. I haven't heard cats, dead cats being mailed. An attorney we talked to says animal cruelty charges could be filed in this case. He says the packages and any connection between McGuire and Osborne could help the state fight it. Then that would show us some sort of conspiracy, and obviously it would strengthen the state's case. The package with the dead kitten was addressed for the victim's grandchildren. When kids are involved, it's really sad. People yeah. are really losing control of everything. According to the arrest affidavit, the family is unable to open their mail, answer their phones, or go anywhere without fear because of this ongoing case. It's overwhelming. The whole community, he's victimized everybody that's involved. Osborne is out of jail on bond. He is due back in court on August 29th. Now, McGuire has not been charged in relation to the packages or any of these incidents involving Osborne and this case, but does face multiple charges, including harassing a witness. Police say he was caught on camera mailing the packages with Osborne. I'm live in Charlotte County, Megan Miller, NBC. Cop lines, policing the police every single day. Breton Osborne on the front page for stalking the old lady with Ian McGuire. He should have been there the first time the paper ran the story on Ian, but the Charlotte County Sheriff Bill Prummel and Punta Gorda police kept his secret. Because his dad runs a investment firm for the rich people of Punta Gorda. Dead kitten sent to stalking victim. Man charged with witness tampering. By an Esker. Staff writer. Punta Gorda fecal matter, rotting bananas, laxatives, menstrual pills, and a dead kitten. These are all items allegedly sent by 28-year-old Breton Osborne to intimidate a stalking victim from testifying against YouTube personality Ian McGuire. McGuire, formerly of YouTube channel So They Call It Freedom and Hate State, is currently in the Charlotte County Jail with multiple pending court cases. He was arrested June 27 for allegedly obstructing justice by harassing victims in an aggravated assault case. According to the arrest warrant, Osborne became associated with McGuire after he mailed McGuire information about problems he was having getting public records from the Election Commission. Both men came to the Punta Gorda Police Department lobby to request a copy of a witness report related. 
to a stalking case involving Maguire filming a vendor at the Punta Gorda Farmer's Market. They allegedly began mocking the witness on YouTube videos and harassing him by phone. They also displayed the stalking victim's information on McGuire's YouTube channel. In April, the stalking victim began receiving packages containing fecal matter at her home. Service vendors were also sent to her address by false phone numbers, and Osborne once came to her home pretending to be an Uber driver. See Kitten, 4A. Osborne. Kitten. From page 1A. According to the affidavit. In harassing phone calls, the victim's grandchildren were allegedly threatened with rape. Strangers showed up at her home after a fraudulent Craigslist posting advertised free mangoes and starfruit at her address, the report stated. On May 21, the victim contacted police about a package which had, victim's name redacted, grandkids written across it in blue marker. There appeared to be blood coming from it, according to the arrest affidavit. Inside was the remains of a three- to four-week-old dead kitten. A necropsy indicated the kitten had been swung by its tail as its head impacted a hard surface. The kitten had injuries including an interior amputation of the tail, an interior decapitation and a crushed skull, according to the affidavit. Punta Gorda police told The Sun the case remains an open investigation and did not comment on the question of potential animal cruelty charges. The arrest report stated the victim and her family are unable to open their mail, answer their phones or go anywhere without fearing reprisal for being the victim and witness in the ongoing stalking case of Ian McGuire currently before the court. Osborne was charged with eight counts of witness tampering, harassing a victim and stalking. He was released from jail after posting an $80,000 bond. At an arraignment this week, he pleaded not guilty. His attorney, Sven Smith of Fort Myers, said he had no comment on the case Friday. Osborne's next case management conference is August 29 at 1 p.m. before Judge George Richards. McGuire has not been charged with any crimes related to the incidents in Osborne's case, although the affidavit states he was captured on camera at the self-service kiosk while Osborne sent one of the packages. His attorney Kevin Shirley stated he did not know enough to comment on Osborne's case but noted McGuire strongly contests the two were working together. I'm interested to see what the state has to link these two together, Shirley said. Email, and dot Esker at your soon. Com. Action. And the FBI raid a man's home. You can see agents removing dozens of guns as well as ammunition. And now this man, Ian McGuire, is in jail. Neighbors say this isn't the first time they've seen law enforcement outside of his home. I feel like they, they need to take care of what, what's going on and, you know, and take action. And today they did. Wink News reporter Erica Jackson is live in Port Charlotte. And Erica, what was the reason for the arrest? Bob, good evening. Investigators just cleared the scene here minutes ago, nearly 10 hours after the FBI initially began its search and after deputies arrested the homeowner, who neighbors say they know very well. The man known in Charlotte County for posting dozens of encounters with law enforcement on YouTube has come face to face with deputies once again, this time as they raided his Port Charlotte home. Uh, neighbors are concerned. Citizens of this county, of this town, are concerned. Ian McGuire's house on Westland Terrace, searched by the FBI and Charlotte County deputies. While the FBI wouldn't discuss an open investigation, the sheriff's office says McGuire had guns in plain sight in the home. That's a violation of a probation order issued earlier this year against him for stalking. Deputies found around 30 hand and long range guns and cases of ammunition. I feel like they, they need to take care of what what's going on and you know and take action. McGuire also faces new charges today stemming from an April incident where deputies say he interfered with a felony battery investigation and taunted witnesses with a camera videotaping them and at the request several times they asked him to stop. Nearby homeowners say this is an eye-opening experience. It makes me a little uneasy and makes me want you know protect my kids more. Additional charges are pending now that deputies found those weapons. 
uh, excuse me, McGuire will stay in the Charlotte County Jail throughout the night, and he will appear in court tomorrow morning. That'll be in Charlotte County as well, and he remains in jail without bond. Live in Port Charlotte, Erica Jackson, Wink News Now. All right, thank you very much, Erica. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use if you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc. And please donate. I do not make money from YouTube, and uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.